Sorry about my little break, everybody. Had a had a nasty bug. I won't go into too much details, but I also know that I owe you a hot sauce challenge, a mini cheddar challenge, if you will. Um, I'm going to wait a few days for that because as part of the bug, there was some bottom end action that I wouldn't, I don't fancy revisiting. Right, now, after that, love, you just mental image, just build it up, see a picture, good. Right, now, let's play some Football Manager. Greetings and salutations, my friends. Well, welcome back. Like I said, sorry about the delay. Sorry, guys. But we are back now. Motorsport Manager will resume tomorrow. I've actually been playing a little private save as well, and I've been really enjoying it. So I'm very much looking to get back into the full swing, back to normal. We've got big FM23 news coming out soon, which is great. Um, and we have been on some lovely form since you last duel with us. Uh, we even beat Man City away from home. The rest of the... You know, Arsenal, Man City, good results. The rest are sort of pretty teams we should beat anyway. But the team is performing well. Except for Santos. Santos is, I don't know, but it's my it's my new project. I'm going to make this player good. so In that position, somehow. Um, we have made new signings. I think I showed you one of them before, at least. Um, yeah, Jeff Griffin we stole from Borussia Dortmund. Just a young English right back. Uh, that could do well for 18 mil. You know, might as well. We're always going to get our 12 mil. We're always going to get our money back on if it doesn't work out. And then this is one of those random scout finds. Hey, do you want a Brazilian winger for 74 grand? I'm like, yeah. I don't even play a winger, but I'll I'll get him. <laughs> Apparently he's worth 50 million pounds. I'm not sure if that's true. Um, but the, but we've been playing superbly well today. We've been playing Reading, and I think we're going to give the new guy, chuck him straight in. Good time to do it. mooja has been playing pretty poorly. Uh, Miller's been playing at left back for let's like Santos. This perfect new guys. Maybe he just needed a a different partner on the other side to kick him into action. Um, Egan's has actually been performing pretty well. We'll give Hernandez a game. Pasqual is. Dead. Just a minor bug. Um, I want to keep Bruce Hess. Uh, he does need a rest. He was banging on about a rest, so we'll give him a little rest. Um, that's it. Right. Let's go smash Reading. I okay. Oh, they're a League One side. I was going to say, I assume they're a championship side. No, they're League One. Right. Jeff. That's going to annoy a few people in the comments. I just made my right, my third choice right back number nine. <laughs> I'm sorry, I've triggered a few people there. There's, there's a few people's eye twitching as I did that. I'm sorry. Can now myself. Right. Come on, boys. I want to see Santos. I want to see an assist minimum. Easy, easy, Fernandos. Remember, they're League One now. They're a very poor side. Nando's and what's his face, Griffin. I want sevens minimum. I'm not asking for much, really. Elstone, Santos, lovely, gone, Gossi. Oh, Santos deserved it. One of the the surprise packages of this lovely bit of form has been Elstone. In playing central midfielder, he's played as a striker as well. He can sort of do both. Uh, playing as a central midfielder and has just been brilliant. <laughs> I don't really know how, why, but I'm going with it. Sandro Santos back post. Yes, yes, it's an assist. Let's go. This is the game against a League One side. This is breakout game. Maybe we found his level. It's probably more realistic. So I hope you're all enjoying watching the England games. <laughs> International football, so funny. It's just like, it's so dull. It's so dull. Oh. It's like, it's weird. Being an England fan is really weird at the moment because it's like having, it's like knowing you've got a shit manager at your team. 
But also, they're unsackable because they got to the final of the tournament. <laughs> that pen. Griffin win. Did Griffin win that noise? Yeah, so... It's like we just have to wait for Gareth South... Oh, what's he say? Oh, Santos has a pot. We just have to kind of wait for Gareth to not do very well at the World Cup and then we can sack him and not feel bad. It's just so boring. <laughs> I'd rather be a bit worse <laughs> and like score goals and stuff. Like our uh, goals, they were fun back in the day when we used to score goals. All right. Uh, I feel like we should have scored more here, but Benny for C say. How's he doing? Santos is playing a 7.7. .7. It's unheard of. This is. Rarefied air for Santos, this. Upper sevens. He's he's nudging eight. He's giving eight a little cuppage. Lovely ball. Santos cuts it across. Should have scored. Oh, could have done better with the second one, but... Griffin intercepts. Nice one, Griffin. Elstone back to Sorky. Sandro Elstone. Lovely run. Santos. I'm not... Oh, that's a good... I don't even blame him for that. That's a great ball across. I feel like he was offside, but apparently not. He's running the show. He's hit eight. This is going to help his average. Can he hold an eight? No. Yes. 8.5. He'd he, he done something really good. Elstone's a bit dead. Tom Moss. And Marshall, swap you to go Garcia up top. Lovely, lovely, lovely. Sorky. Out to Santos. Is this why he got a point five? Did he just get another assist and they've given me the score early? <laughs> Cleared away. Goff. Right, Benning's there. Griffin are here. What you got, Griffin? What you got? Let's see. Hey, okay. it's not it's not bad. Got to our a teammate. 8.7, people. Eight point, I know this is League One, but I think we should get carried away because this is an 8.7. It's 8.8. 8. He can't do a 9, can he? He can't. He's 8.9. He's nudging it. He's having the game of his life. He's only it's 1-0 and we've only got one assist, so he is... Go on, Marshall. So he's having the game of his life. Right, that settles it. He's hitting. Oh, he's nudging nine. He's having a little taster. Can he do it? He's on nine. I think he's done it. Out of nowhere. It's a 9.4 out of nowhere. Look at that. <laughs> I've done, I've done, okay. Wow. A 9.4 with only one assist. What happened there? It did look like he had a bit of space on that left-hand side. It got more than normal. But we were... <laughs> It'll be back to 6.3 in a minute. But, like, you know, I'm going to keep him in for Norwich. And then just... Because Norwich... Reading Norwich is not the you know biggest climb. No fan. Actually, Norwich are doing quite well, aren't they? Yeah, they're ninth. Okay, I'll take it back. I'm sorry, Norwich fans. I do have a small confession to make. I could have signed Dom... On a free transfer, his contract's running out, six months left. And I, I saw it because he's on my shortlist. I did offer him a contract. There's lots of teams that did. Um, he's ended up going to Wolfsburg. I couldn't, <laughs> even for fun, I couldn't justify spending 50 grand a week, which is the wages he wanted, on a player for a joke um, when we're trying to win the Premier League and stuff. So I'm sorry, Dom. We've out. We've finally outgrown you. Right, can you go there? Carl can come in. Um, you're suspended. Right, everybody fits. So, don't want to throw Griffin too much in at the deep end. So we'll bring Mooj back in, but we'll keep Santos. Which was an astonishing game and his third assist of the season. 
Look at Elstone's averages. Look, it's ridiculous. I don't really know what it is. Like he's a decent footballer, but he's nowhere near as the other two, good as the other two central midfielders. But magic. All right, Bruce, you can come back in. Had a nice little rest. Uh, Shawhorn's back as well, which is good. So we'll put you there, and then Griffin, which was the plan. Go play 90 minutes of uh, children's football. Right, Nando's had a better game as well. Right. Santos. Kenny. Oh, I've only had... That's fine. I'm two less subs than I need. Don't need them all. Will Santos be able to relive that last match? Can he do it two in a row? Or will we immediately be back to a solid 6.3? We have questions. Like I said, Norwich are a decent side now. <sighs> Three minutes in, the Norwich are faithful. Go absolutely loopy as Jamie Shepard scores. Right, now he's got work to do. Uh, I'd also like to say thank you to a couple of brand new patrons or one brand new patron. Alistair Wilson, thank you very much for joining my patron. And Alex Mullen, thank you very much for updating your pledge. I've redone the whole credits and got rid of people that aren't supposed to be there and made sure everybody's there and stuff. So I've forgotten if I've... I uh, apologise if I've forgotten to mention anyone as I've redone it all. It was confusing and I was... I've only got a small brain. Um, but I just want to say thank you as always. Fuck me. Thank you as always to <laughs> for continued support. Um, there's going to be lots of fun things for FM23. Um, expect a few surprise videos. I'm going to do a follow up to the features one because apparently FM23's features are coming out soon. So, um, and I, I changed my mind because I did that sort of asking you guys what you wanted to see in FM23 and I was going to do a follow up in a week. But then I noticed a trend in the comments and I'm doing a. Sp I'll do a specific video talking about, actually, there's only one thing we need in Football Manager. So we won't get it, but, you know, FM 37? You never know. You know, we can dream. But I'll let you know when that's coming out. Right. Jordan, come on. We're playing terribly, boys. Luge. Right. Get hold of the ball, lads. Sorky. All right, there's Santos, the danger man. Oh, what a ball that is. Yawn! It doesn't count as assist, but it should do with absolute ping across the boss from Santos. He's finding that space on this left-hand side now. Doesn't try and keeps it nice and simple and just pings a peach of a ball. And it drops to Cissé, taps it in. Lovely. Okay, back in the game. He should get some sort of credit for that. He's playing a seven. <gasps> Is this it? 7.2. Is this... Is he just worked out and remembered how to play football or something? Uh, we need to do better, though. We are 2 <laughs> Let's not get carried away. We are 2-1 down, people, against Norwich. Um, Shelton can come back in. We've got our two main, main wing-backs now. Let's get it all out. Demand more. Okay, counter-attack of dreams. Okay, yeah, yeah. We've started well. We've, we just need to win the ball back. Unlucky Santos, good interception. Well, that's a, some whippage on that pass. Jesus. Okay, don't give away a pen. Oh, that's a good ball. That's a great ball to the back post. I think he's on. We haven't, we haven't lost in ages. We've been on like a seven-game winning spree. I should have made a joke about Norwich being shit. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. It's hard to be more attacking. It's It gets... It's tricky to get more attacking than we are that we could... Uh... Go for Shellhorn as a winger. And Santos. This might this might spook it. We probably should sub him. I feel like if we're playing this. 
but he played well. He played a solid seven in a team that's losing. Right. I'm going to berate. I'm going to berate. I've, I've said it. I've done it. And I've berated them. This is awful, lads. Elston's putting in another great performance, despite the result. You know, the the the, the scoreline flatters Norwich a little bit, but to be fair, we haven't put away our chances. Look at this thing, I score another one. Fucking hell, it's 4-1. Liverpool fans are a bit shocked. Okay. Yeah. I no, wasn't expecting a 4 1. Gotta be honest here. Puts it back in. Go on, Brucey. I think he's on. I think he's on because Miller headed it backwards, so that's not offside. I don't know whether Miller was offside. It didn't look like it. There we go. 4 2. <laughs> Got FM'd a little bit, but to be fair, they've got an XG of almost two, so that's bad. That, that's bad from us. That's really bad. Okay, well let's let's just move on from this one, yeah. Norwich. I've always said Norwich are a good, solid side. Fucking hell, that was actually really bad. We're still, I think we're still top of the league. We've been on a really good run. We were sitting top of the league, but it was still at annoyingly close. You know, it's like when you put a good run together and you think, fucking hell, we are invincible. And then you like look at the league and you're one point above. <laughs> We're not even top anymore. Okay. Look, could be a three-horse race, this. Uh, right. In a, okay, Sheffield United are dead. Okay, this could be a three-horse race. Still too early to say. The trouble is, we're not doing anything in the January. We've got no money. We, we're not doing anything in the January transfer window. So I'm worried that you know, they can assign the next Haaland and I'm sitting here and I'm me Todd. It's like real life Liverpool. Waiting for Bellingham to join. Right, there we go, my friends. <laughs> Thank you very much again for all the support. Thank you. Uh, apologies for, for missing a week. A bit, a bit all over the place. We'll be back to normal this week. Like I said, my sport manager will return tomorrow and all that good stuff. I'll do a video when they do the features for FM23, right? And we'll have a chat about it. Fingers crossed for something good. Thank you very much. They seemed excited about it, but then... You know, they're going to big it up. Even if it's a terrible thing, they're going to big it up, aren't they? Like, it's great. Right, I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.